Hey guys, a little over a month ago, I put out a video on a uh, budget rifle scope by a company called Best Sight. And they reached out to me again and said that they had this little reflex sight and asked if I would take a look at it and just kind of share my thoughts. Um, so here's the box on it. A very kind of basic generic looking box. Um, there's the dimensions on it. So it's got a 33 millimeter lens. So fairly wide view on it. Um, those right there are the different dots that are available on it. So you can have just a standard dot, dotted circle with the dot inside, crosshairs, sort of like a combination of crosshair, circle, and dot. So let's get it open, see what's in it. So looks like some type of either mounting instructions or maybe more specs. I'll tell you how to zero it in and whatnot. Uh, battery just kind of came out there. Cleaning cloth. Um, looks like two Allen wrenches. I assume one is to tighten it down to a rail and the other is probably for windage and elevation adjustments. Got the sight itself and that looks like it. So let's get this out of the package. This is what it looks like here. So yeah, that lens or aperture is 33 millimeters across and 22 millimeters tall. Looking through that glass, it is very, very clear. Um, and then that backside seems to have some type of reflective, almost mirror-like material on it, uh, but it's definitely not like a blued material or anything. So up in the top is your elevation adjustment. And then over here on the side is the windage. Um, it says that it has click adjustments. Uh, it's clearly not the right size. Let me get the other one. All right, so I got the other Allen wrench here and we'll see if that thing actually does make a clicking sound or not. Yeah, it actually does. It does not go backwards though. It'll click the one direction and then you can feel it click back in place, but it doesn't make the audible sound. We'll try it up here with the elevation, see if it does it. Now I can manually, I can feel it click to each spot, but I do not hear it. And the Amazon description does say that it it's click adjustment. And then the smaller screw or smaller wrench rather is for over here on this side, this little hole right here. Basically, once you have it zeroed in, you get your windage elevation, everything where you want it. You can basically take this one and underneath here, it'll probably be hard to see, but this little screw will actually pop out and then it prevents right there. Does you see it come through right there? So basically that locks in and then it, it'll maintain your zero for you just in case these were to somehow get hit again or whatever, but it just kind of locks in your zero. I wanted to make sure I had read that right. And it does say right there, windage and elevation click adjustments. I guess it doesn't say audible click adjustments uh, with locking screw. So uh, I was wrong when I said that it's supposed to be audible, but the, the one way is, those four different reticle options I showed you earlier. Those are them right there in the selectors here. Little bit, little bit stiff moving that around. But again, it's just right out of the box, but we'll see if that loose, it's already getting looser. But yeah, that's definitely a little bit stiff. Um, battery door, and then you've got red and green. Um, and I think that there are five levels a brightness. We'll get a battery in it here in a second. I want to see how much the thing weighs. Uh, it gives a weight in grams and I don't know what that equals out to ounces. So we'll see. 5.6 ounces. I think it said 128 grams or something, but so almost five and a half ounces. 
there's enough teeth or gears or whatever grip on that that you don't need any type of tool to take that door off and put it back on. So we'll get that in and see what things look like. All right, get the battery in. Let's see what those reticles look like. Uh, I'll do the red first. Okay, so that is like the one that's like the combination of the crosshairs, the circle, and the dot. So it kind of has like the most, it'll probably get blurry if I try to bring it up too close, yeah. Um, like to the, to just the human eye, that's very, very clear. I'm trying to have a hard time getting it centered there for you. Uh, let's flip it over to, this is just the crosshairs only. Yeah, that's not bad. And the next one is a circle with a dot. I'm trying to look through it through the phone and then also without it. And then just the dot. I don't know what the MOA is on this. I'll have to look that up and see if I can find it anywhere. The dot actually looks fairly small though. We'll switch it to the green, see what that looks like. And we'll go all the way up through from like the low brightness. So there's off, should be coming on here. And then I will go up through it till it gets brighter. Let me just shut it off. So again, yeah, that's that's very, very bright. Now again, I'm inside, so I'll test it out once I get to the range and see what everything looks like with it. But even that is really stiff right now. But again, it's just right out of the box. That is the circle with the dot. That's the crosshairs. And kind of like the combination of everything. And the camera, like it, it kind of like fades it out or distorts what it actually looks like. Um, when you're looking at with just your regular eye, I can clearly see a circle. I can see the four lines coming off of it and I can see the dot in the center, but the iPhone camera does not pick all that stuff up. But you can see it is very bright. There is not any type of cover included and if you can see, I've got my fingerprints already on it, so you will have to be using that cleaning cloth probably. For the most part, I do all of my shooting at the range during the day, and I find the green color to be much easier for my eyes to pick up. Got that mounted on there, and it is rock solid uh, with the two mounting screws. Um, one kind of small complaint I will say is like on this particular 1022, my charging handle is right there. And even if this were all the way to the back rail, I still could not pull the charging handle back like I normally would. Um, so this uh, brightness dial here would make me have to kind of reach around like this for the charging handle versus over the top because I, I my hand hits that. Even if I brought it all the way back, I still hit that. So, um, and then in comparison, like this one here, it's actually, a, I think a slightly larger aperture on this one or lens. And this one, which I've had on this rifle before, works fine uh, because there's nothing that sticks out on that right side. Uh, it's electronic though, and this one, I'll go over the prices here in a bit, but this was like double the price of this one. So the way that I'll usually sight in, especially a red dot before I go to the range, is I'll take one of these sight marks. It's basically just a laser, and this has a magnet on it. And so you just put this like on the end of your barrel. You turn this on. And as you can see, there's the red dot that comes out. So then what I'll do is I'll have, obviously this is gonna be 
connected now. And what I would do is I would line my dot from the site basically up with the dot that's coming out of the end of the uh, bore site there. Um, and that gets you relatively close. So what I'll do is I'll go outside, I'll stand, uh, stand maybe 20, 25 yards away from the house and I'll get both of those dots lined up to where they're pretty darn close. And at least then I'm hitting paper once I get to the range and then I can fine tune the adjustments. Yeah, I think I did a video maybe on this little site mark tool a couple years ago. Uh, but I mean, it works for pistols and everything if you're putting an optic on it and Basically, this magnet will more or less go up against anything. Um, I think I maybe paid like 25 or 30 bucks for this on Amazon. Probably leave a link to it if, if anybody's interested. But imagine if this were mounted up on top of the rifle, and then this is on the barrel down below, and then all you do is you make your windage and ele elevation adjustments until these two basically become like one dot. And that gets you pretty close. And then, like I said, you know, once you're at the range, you can make your final adjustments. But, so yeah, I like to use these things a lot. All right, guys, out to the range today with the uh, best sight, reflex sight. Uh, super, super, super windy, so I apologize if, they're, uh, if the audio is not good. Um, sometimes when I'm first sighting in an optic, I'll use a bigger sheet of cardboard uh, just to kind of make sure that I'm putting something on paper. Um, even though I kind of have it somewhat sighted in from home, uh, with that uh, bore cider and then I don't have a spotting scope uh, so I'll just be using some binoculars here sometimes I'll just bring like, just like a regular like 3 to 9 by 40 scope but I didn't bring that and I'll be shooting some mini mags and some of the AR tacticals today all right so here's my setup targets down there 50 yards it is super windy it's almost like a sail down there that line is moving a bunch uh, but i'll try to get you guys some views of what i'm seeing yeah it's so windy i haven't even taken a shot yet it actually blew the uh, target off of the cardboard i'm about to try to staple it on there or something but 50 yards is about all the further that my eyes will let me yeah i'm not a camera expert so i can't tell you guys like why it does this there is a little bit of a tent on that lens and for whatever reason the the camera isn't able to see you see how the whole camera is like blurry right now and i know it's probably because i have this up here kind of close um but i kind of wanted to show you guys that it, it's crystal clear through that when you're looking just with your eyes um i mean it, it's like just the slightest tint to it uh but when you look through here it looks like it's like i don't know blurry or but it's definitely not. It's very, very clear. And like out here right now, I have the green dot on and the camera is not able to pick that up. But again, to my eye, I mean, I can see it clearly. Well, that wind at the range was just a bit too much to test any real accuracy. Uh, it was a steady 30 to 35 and gust over 40. Um, I had my uh, target, you know, set up on two lines and it was literally moving like the sail on a sailboat. I mean, it was like pushed out and it would come back. And um, so I can't really speak to how accurate it is. I can tell you that the dot um, or any of the reticles really are crystal clear. Very, very good. As far as a budget one, probably the best dot um, that I've seen on any of them. A lot of times they're real blurry. Uh, sometimes they're like um, hazy or where there's almost two of them and they'll say, oh, that's astigmatism. No, I have other people look at it and they see two of them uh, as well. I didn't see any of that with this little best sight one. Um, again, the, the glass, it, it is almost somewhat tinted. I know it's gonna be too hard to see in here, but it's like the lightest tint that you can imagine. Uh, but obviously looking outside of the, the lens and then looking through it, you can tell there's a little bit of a tent. Um, at the 50 yards though, I could see the target, no problem at all. And I could see the dot where I needed to be on the target very easily. That's usually about my limit um, for using these you know, non-magnification or non-magnifying optics. 
Um, I know people can go 100 yards or even more. My eyes, I just can't do that. Um, so I feel comfortable usually around 50 with a, a red dot. And um, I, I think I will try to get this out to the range again in the next week or two. Um, and maybe I'll put like in the description, I'll put like an update. Um, I, I'm, I'm fairly confident that it's going to be, uh, you know, it's going to hold zero and there, won't, there aren't going to be any issues at all. And even what I was hitting this time, when I had that piece of cardboard, I had to go back out and staple the uh, target to it. Um, I was still hitting the the target um my group was kind of all over though i mean not like crazy bad but i mean it was probably oh uh, i don't know like let's say two palm widths instead of just one so not the best grouping for sure but overall i mean the, the build quality is really nice it's all metal um, everything clicks fine, everything works fine, the red and green dots are great, locks up to the rail great, batteries included, clear lens. I mean, for 30 bucks, I don't think you can go wrong with it. Yeah, you know, my only complaint with the whole thing is that this knob seems to stick out a little further than others that I've had. And at the range, it wasn't a big deal. I just I just had to come in from the side like I showed earlier and just grab that from the side instead of my normal way like this. And it, it would not matter if I move this up to here or here. It doesn't matter um, as far as the charging handle. It's in the way no matter where you move it to on the rail, at least on this rifle. And it didn't really affect anything except for how I was pulling that charging handle back. One other thing I wanted to mention is... I saw in the box that there's a remote pressure switch. Now the Amazon description did not say that the switch should be included or anything, um, but I don't see anywhere that you can buy one. Uh, the company on their storefront doesn't show one. So, but that would be kind of sweet to have a little remote pressure switch for your red dot. Um, so I may try to get a hold of the company and see if that's something that is available. And one last thing before we end the video, I looked through here to see if there was any type of warranty information and I couldn't find anything. I've actually emailed them a few times and I think that they're pretty good people to work with. Um, so, I mean, you know, it's, it's $30. So I can't say if it's gonna last a year, a month, five years, I, I don't know for sure. Um, I've only had this one for a few weeks and I've been messing with it pretty much every day. Like I said, I, I think for around that $30 price, uh, you won't find a better reflex sight right now. Um, I really do like this one. So I'll leave a, descript or a link down in the description if anybody's interested in it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.